so uh, I, I feel like that's something Barbara Streisand just says all the time. I don't know. Um, but yeah, thanks. This is my, my album. Um, you'll be awkwardly staring at it when you go to get water and think to yourself, no, I'm good. Uh, I should. My name is Mike Lawrence and I am a stand-up comedian. I started November 5th, 2005 in South Florida, uh, which is where I'm originally from. I realized I was funny at an early age and that it was all I had. You know, I, I wasn't attractive, I wasn't athletic, but I could make, you know, the other kids laugh. I mean, I might have peaked. This might, you might be catching me at the highest moment of my career and, this, and then I'm over. I, that, that could happen. And trust me, that is in my forefront of my mind. That, that happens all of the time, you know? I told myself when I was 23 that by the age of 30, if I didn't either make $5,000 or get a TV credit, I would quit. Round of applause for Mike Lawrence. Guys, uh, I, don't, I don't drink a lot. Uh, I come from a long line of alcoholics. My family tree has a car wrapped around it. I, mean, I worked at a Pink Berry and got fired after three weeks. I um, stocked restaurants at an airport for like a year and two months. I constantly ran out of money. At points I had like $25 in my name. Uh, it, was, it was brutal, but I mean, now it's kind of awesome looking back at it just because I'm here, but back then it was, it was horrible. I taped my first John Oliver um, New York stand-up show episode on my birthday at the age of 28, and that was also enough money to get me over that 5,000 mark. Tom, and he's making his late night debut with us right here tonight. Please welcome the very funny Mike Lawrence. Uh, it's great to be here. Uh, I live in New York. When you're killing, it feels like this. It feels like everything that happened to you in life when you were young was justified. The best way that I could describe when I'm doing well is slumdog millionaire. It feels like being covered in the crap and all the hardships that you went through are worth it, you know, and that you just won that. It feels like you won that million dollars because you were able to remember all of these uncomfortable moments. Let's, let's be really honest here. You can tell that I've lived a rough life, all right? <laughs> It's hard to look like a virgin, but also look like you just buried your wife at the same time. <laughs> I call that multitasking. The reality is I can tell somebody, all you have to do is just work really hard and it'll happen. But that's not true. Most people that do this work really hard and it doesn't happen. And I, and I carry massive survivor's guilt with me all the time. And I'm not even that successful yet. I mean, I'm making a living, but barely. And I still have gotten so much farther than I ever thought I would, and then more than a lot of people have. So don't worry, I'm not enjoying any of this. 